Well, it's time to release the Krakens. It's a beautiful day in Oklahoma. I've been holding off on letting the chickens out because there's been falcons flying around. They've swooped down on the chickens a few times. They haven't gotten one yet, but it is too nice of a day to keep the chickens in the coop. And they know the sound of the, uh, the falcons now. So I'm going to let them out and they go hide. Yeah, they, they scramble underneath the camper. Oh, you can hear them. They are not happy. The chickens are not happy. All right, chickens. You ready? Keep an eye out for the falcon. Come on, girls. Chickens. Chickens. Where you going, chickens? Where you going? You like this? Come on, chickens. Come on, chickens. Yeah, they like that mush. All right, on about what this video is actually about. So I think it was the last video I showed you I was putting up a structure. It was just to be a roof to collect rainwater and to put my solar panels on. Well, that's when we started having shortages in stores um, and propane, which is what I was heating with. And price of lumber dropped to its lowest point. I got sheets of OSB for $23 and right now since it's come back up it's up to $58 so I bought it at the lowest point that it was and I decided to go ahead and make a janky little cabin so that I had a warm place to live get out of the pop-up camper and have a wood stove so This is what I ended up making. I gave up on working on the outside because it got too late in the season. The windows I took out of a bus and believe it or not that window was dead level. It's the roof that slopes down because I wanted a roof that sloped down for the rainwater to come down here. I brought my panels over. The plan was just to put the panels up on the roof and then move the uh, camper down here. But that changed. So I got my IBC tanks coming in from the rainwater. We had some rain. I've been flushing them out because they had molasses in them originally. And I did plumb these together so that they would fill up equally as, it, as the rainwater comes in. And I have a, so I can flush it out, I put that valve down at the ends. And I put this connection in so I'm going to run this hose into the uh, house. Now what I go, eventually I'm going to build over the summer, I'm going to build a structure to go around this and close it so the sun's not hitting it, I won't have algae problems. And I'll take a small fan and I'll blow hot air into it so it doesn't freeze up in the winter time. But the bus windows worked out really well. I haven't finished painting, I ran out of paint and didn't do this side. I did build a 2x4 door. And I guess that's got to get painted. I'm going to put a plexiglass up top here. And I got the wood. I reclaimed some wood that we were working on picnic tables. So I have a whole bunch of two by sixes that I ripped to build a deck out here. And I'm going to get the panels up pretty quick on the roof, the solar panels, so that I have 600 watts of power and I have some new batteries. So I'm going to be working on that. And you can see how that door frame goes. <laughs> Yeah, that's the, the door frame is dead level. It's the building that's not. It's the jankiest thing I've ever built in my life. And I did caulk all the seams up before the winter time. So it is actually clear caulk on there. There's a lot more to do to it. And it's not the forever house. This is just a, um, it was an intermediary stopgap solution. I did a little work on the inside. Now, I'm working on about 15 different little things, so I got everything kind of laying around. But, it's actually not a bad space. I mean, it's, you know, think of it as a hunting camp. But I left all the boards exposed, the, uh, the poles, 
And I got my little wood stove. And that's been doing great. The, the space is so small that it, it doesn't take much to heat it. And the walls are an OSB outside with a blue poly insulation board and then OSB on the inside. I figured the OSB would be a lot faster and easier than doing sheetrock and tape in the mud. And I really just needed to get it done fast. I built a quick bed out of two by fours. It's high enough I can store stuff underneath it. I got the table from the camper. I got the mattresses from the camper. I got the lights from the camper. I got to put another one up and I got to build a door to go over the top of the solar collection. I got to rearrange all that stuff. And I got tank for hot water and water filters and a sediment filter. And I do have my, and I've used it a couple of times, the um, hot water, instant hot water heater for showers. So that's all going to get incorporated into a water system for a sink. And I got to finish this. I want to bring my little refrigerator over. I'm going to build it in here. Water tank's going to go in here. Batteries going in here. Um, yeah, I got to get rid of those batteries. But the place is a mess. I've been working. I've worked the last six days in a row. Finally, I have a day off. I got to put the heat shield up properly. I have lots of firewood. I realize I now have at least six years of firewood laying around. I will have a never ending supply of firewood. Since if you look down here, my property actually goes out to about here, down in the valley and in the holler. The holler. So there's a lot of cleanup to do. Uh, I gotta make more garden beds. I gotta. I'm using these, there's a lot more work to do obviously, but I'm only one person, I've done all this by myself, and that's the way it's going to continue. I'm saving up blue barrels for planters for potatoes and onions and carrots, because this ground is nothing but rock, and I don't know, it's, it's just rock. You can grow stuff, but certainly no root vegetables. Still have stumps to burn. We got metal to clean up. It's uh, it's a lot of work. Clearing this land was a lot of work. That took months. So I'm really looking at like a three-year plan, just getting property and the cabin and everything like that working. And like today, I need to get those solar panels up on the roof and tomorrow work on the water system. And very soon, I gotta start painting the, uh, repainting the entire thing. I just put one coat on it to protect the OSB. And the roof, I gotta paint that white because this summer is gonna be brutal. Over the summer, here it's about 95, 90, 95 degrees every day. And that green roof, I've already, it was great for the winter time because it was always at least 10 degrees warmer. It heats up. I have two layers of that poly board in the, in the ceiling, but it still heats up quite a bit. So I do not want that in the summertime. I'll be painting it white and uh, <laughs> be a lot more comfortable. So the next video should be solar panels and rainwater systems and more chickens. And it's going to get pretty busy here pretty soon as the, uh, the place I work at. It's a campground and rafting operation. Uh, I do everything there. I work on everything there except driving bus to bring the rafters up river. But that might change as I'm going Monday to get my DOT physical and go take the test for my uh, CDLB license so I can drive buses as well. So that should be interesting. So, on to the solar panels. Have a good one.